The green arrow shows the location of the reverse light switch when looking from the rear of the vehicle towards the transmission. Press the electrical connector wire retainer and pull the connector straight off the switch as indicated by the green arrow. Next, use a 19mm wrench and loosen the switch, green arrow. Unscrew the reverse light switch and remove it from the transmission. I have changed a handful of these switches and none of them had a sealing washer. When installing the new one, do not add a sealing washer unless your vehicle has one when removed. It could change the way the switch works, altering the insertion depth into the transmission. Screw in the new sensor, tighten using a 19mm wrench, then plug in the electrical connector. Reinstall the splash shields and check the operation of your switch. To test the switch, plug it back into the electrical connector, then press the center button. When the button is pressed, the reverse light should illuminate. If the lights do not illuminate, check the electrical connector, green arrow, power, and the ground supply. The brown wire goes to the chassis ground. The other wire, yellow shown in this photo, should have voltage present supplied from the footwell module. If the ground is present and no voltage, inspect the fuse to the footwell module. The fuse is located in the engine compartment, E-box fuses F36, F41, F52, and F56. If so desired, you can use a fuse jumper wire to jump the reverse light switch terminals together. This will illuminate the reverse light switch. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.